Hey guys, this iPad is in today because it's not charging or turning on. We just had it hooked up to DC power where it was drawing a full amp. Um, we're going to take a look under the thermal camera and see where heat is building up. We identify a component on the main board that's getting very hot. Uh, switching to the microscope view, um, the component is identified as Q8104 and it looks like we do have a short on VCC main. Checking in diode mode on one of the pins of this component. Um, it's actually normal for this component to get very very hot when there is a short on VCC main so what we're going to do is temporarily remove it from the main board and then we're going to again check on the thermal cam to see where we are getting heat and make it easier to identify where the short is on the VCC main line. Switching back to the thermal cam and hooking up DC power we still have our short and we see the PMIC is getting very hot. So now we're going to switch back to the microscope view and look closely at the PMIC. We're going to use free spray to make sure that it is the PMIC that's short and not another component. So if we rewind and do that again you can see that there's a cap to the bottom right there of PMIC that is revealing and if you look close there are some solder balls coming out of it which means that um, this is likely our culprit and not the PMIC itself. So we're going to remove this cap from the board then we're going to take readings on VCC main line and see if we still have our short. The short is gone and now we can reinstall Q8104 and once that's done we are ready to test the device and see if we get a full boot. Switching back to the overhead cam and reinstall it, reinstalling our shield plate and then hooking up DC power and plugging in LCD into our iPad Air. We do get um, a regular boot sequence and have our Apple logo and the device has been repaired.